This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. The seventh prophecy was that his burial would be in the tomb of a rich man. Get this. Look how detailed this is. This is what's so amazing about it. It's so detailed. God was in control all along. In Isaiah chapter 53, back around 700 B.C., by oppression and judgment he was taken away, and as for his generation who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people, and they made his grave with the wicked and with a rich man in his debt. You get that? Although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. And then in Matthew 27, starting with verse 57, when it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. And he went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb and went away. Amazing detail how God had planned for this for all along. And what he was doing was planning for you. It was all about you. It was all about you. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Forum,